Ladies and gents, welcome to your reaction. This is Unstoppable Moron makes a nuclear wasteland noticeably worse. Fallout New Vegas. This is the channel Russian Badger. The Russian Badger. I don't know what this video is, but it's about Fallout New Vegas. Of course, I'm gonna love this. One of my favorite games of all time. Play the shit out of this. So yeah, let's watch this one. Remember, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. So I wish our videos to react to more. I guess this is the first time reacting to this channel, right? People commented I should react to this channel. So yeah, let's see it. I guess. Yeah, let's watch it. Rolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Spoiler warning! New Vegas has an incredible story and it's a shame to ruin it with spoilers, so consider this a fair warning. Welcome to New Vegas, a wonderful place that makes you- FUCK THE NCO! <clears throat> Welcome to New Vegas, a wonderful place that makes you say, That's Vegas, baby! Have you ever seen a man use nuclear weapons in close quarters combat? That's Vegas, baby. You ever murdered somebody just so you could take a one hour nap in their filthy cock? Yeah. <laughs> That's Vegas, baby. You ever seen someone covered in pitch, set on fire, and tossed into the Grand Canyon only to somehow crawl out and oh, survive? Oh, so expect God to do all the work. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's Vegas, baby. But enough of the empty chatter. How about we start getting somewhere? The time for talk has passed. The Lord's work must be done. Fallout New Vegas is the story of a courier delivering a mysterious package to the New Vegas Strip that's robbed by a charismatic gangster and left to die in the Mojave Wasteland. The truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Fortunately, a man by the name of Doc Mitchell digs the lead out of your brain, picks up the pieces, and puts you back together like Humpty Dumpty, introducing you to character creation. I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. Special stats come first, in the form of strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck, each making you good or bad at certain things on a scale from 1 to 10. You got 10 agility? That makes you... <laughs> okay, I think... Uh... Last time I played this one in 2015 or something, at that point I realized that if I put one in intelligence, there's a whole new thing that pops up with the dialogues and everything, just makes the game completely different. This is why Fallout is awesome, this is why Fallout New Vegas is awesome. One trait, one skill, if you change here and there, entire playthrough change, all dialogues change, this is so good. The deadliest gunslinger this side of the Mississippi. You got one charisma? Well, negotiating with you has got to be the most awkward and infuriating interaction two human beings can have. Just give me some goddamn medics and fuck off, will you? Because I'm a bumbling moron and play video games like a fucking <laughs> ape, I said to hell with the balance allocation they suggest and went straight up Lord Death of Murder Mountain. 10 strength, 7 endurance, 10 agility, and 10 luck. God, what the fuck? Whoa! Death of Murder Mountain. 10 strength, 7 endurance, 10 agility, and 10 luck. 10 strength, obviously that's just perfection with a melee and everything, you can carry more, you can pick, you know, heavy weapons are good, perception of just one, I, mean, I never like perception that much, but I think you need it more than one, endurance, yeah, charisma, who gives a fuck, right, fuck charisma, fuck, uh, you know, talking out of the dialogues and shit, intelligence, I mean, intelligence are for nerds, agility, yeah, man, ninja here, luck, so basically, yeah, this is definitely, when, he, when it comes to just, Kill everything that moves, this is perfection, basically. And luck. God, what the fuck is this bitch? Alright, let's state the obvious. There's something wrong with me. I am Hercules' bigger cousin Strong, with tough as nails endurance, walks on water agility, and two-headed coin flip lucky. If I so much as breathe on an organism in the Mojave, you better believe it'll end in a critical hit with enough force <laughs> yes. to overthrow a small government. Like the sight of your own blood? I don't know, do you? 
<laughs> However, it also means that I have the perception of a deaf bat, the charisma of a misanthrope, and intelligence so low that calling me dumber than a fucking brick is perfectly <laughs> accurate. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? These base stats are complemented by skills, which are heavily influenced by where you put your special points. Like, remember my 10 agility? That means jacked guns and jacked sneak. Remember my one charisma that makes my speech and barter barely resemble that of a sentient human being? I'm so terrifying, yet so lacking in social skills. Even the most basic conversation probably feels like a hostage negotiation. Well, good luck with that. Again, Lord Death of Murder Mountain, which means specking guns, sneak, and explosives so I can exterminate any life form I come into contact with from the <laughs> tiniest praying mantis to the saltiest powder gang. Take this, you stupid fucking Feeling lucky, punk. Powder gangers rule! <laughs> Special points and skill points are rounded out by traits, which I just adore. Because on one hand, you can pick something pragmatic like Built to Destroy, which gives you a higher critical hit chance, but your weapons wear out faster. Bang! Bang! Had enough? Bang! Bang! <laughs> His arms fell off, but on the other, you can pick some shit like my favorite, Wild Wasteland, which oh, enables yeah. bizarre events to occur, like taking some dicey drugs and fighting a fucking Yaogwai that's on fire. Have at it, you stupid son of a bitch. Take drugs, kill a bear. Uh, what? Oh god, that trait. At the first playthrough, I played it, I didn't mind to it too much, like, because my mentality wasn't up to date, like, how good this game can be. I thought it's just a trade, probably changes something here and there. I didn't know the whole thing will open up like this. Strange encounters and shit. What? There's an actual flaming Yaogwai? What the fuck? Am I even hitting the right one? Aliens and yeah, shit, this is so one. good. Once you're done choosing who you want to be and enter the Mojave, that's is the next big one you gotta learn. Because 90% of staying alive in the wasteland is making sure everything else around you is dead. <laughs> Ow. The Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or VATS, is the tightest shit ever. I fucking love VATS because it allows you to freeze time Dio style and choose exactly where you want to shoot and the probability of hitting no. your target. Watch this center mass. Oh, that's. Uh, <laughs> I, didn't oh, even, exactly I didn't even notice that at first. Yeah, JFK and basically headshot it is 100%. Yeah. Exactly where you want to shoot and the probability of hitting your target. Watch this center mass. <laughs> it's not mandatory. You don't have to use it. You can just pass things away like you would in any other again. shooter. Don't taunt me, Gecko. Personally, I use it every chance I get. Just the combination of precise shots, the slow motion, and some of the hilarious outcomes, I just can't help myself. Oh, shit, that hurts. You can select multiple targets. You can be choosy about body parts, like hitting someone's right arm to knock a weapon out of their hand or someone's legs so they can't flee, especially if that person just won the lottery. Who won the lottery? I did! I feel bad about using the 40 mil for this. I wouldn't. <laughs> it's not perfect because even if you're extremely close to a target with near perfect accuracy, sometimes you can accidentally. By the way, that was so fucked up. He won a lottery in a way that he's not gonna get killed that day by the Legion. That was a lottery. So that's sad that he, in the end, got killed by the courier. I checked the wrong person. Whoa, no, no, not shooting Kachino. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, we are shooting Kachino. <laughs> Oh, no. And other times, Vats is just too accurate. I never thought it was possible to be too consistent, but a snafu with dynamite proved me very wrong. Rise and shine, Captain Parker. Oh, shit. That's okay. <laughs> I didn't bounce too Oh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, when it comes to trajectory weapons, right? Even I was like, hmm, it must, it says 95% chance of, you know, hitting the target. So it must hit the target, but that is just, you know, taking, you know, consideration like if you arc straight and there's nothing in the way, right, it would hit the target 90% of the time. But if the target is moving or you somehow moved or something, there's a pole in between, it's not going to take that into account directly, so it's going to hit it and come back. Trajectory, you have to think for yourself. It's not just all about, you know, computers and vats. Everybody's away now. I'm not going to buy that. <laughs> I'm so dead. Oh god. Even though I may have blown my legs off with dynamite, my heart was in the right place because what I was fighting for was totally worth it. A bed. Just like vats, beds are absolutely critical to your survival because the wasteland is full of scary shit that takes your health away and breaks down your limbs, especially if you use landmines as a primary weapon. Hey, wake up, Frank. Wake up, Frank. 
<laughs> but if you sleep in a bed, even for just an hour, you regain all of your health and all of your broken limbs are magically fixed. Don't ask me how it works. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's worth cutting someone's head off with a switchblade. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, baby. Ooh, that critical. Final word of advice here is to always check if there's an open bed before you kill anybody, because I've slaughtered entire tents of people and taken naps next to corpses only to realize there was an open bed right next to them. I just wanna take a nap. Let me take a nap, you asshole. With those basics covered, it's time to make our way to New Vegas so we can find that bastard Benny and figure out why some stupid platinum chip was worth blowing someone's head off. Now's a good time to remind you that I'm a complete fucking oaf. I'm glossing over a ton of stuff and probably leaving some important shit yeah. out. So remember that my advice is meaningless and time is a flat circle. There's more to it. But I mean, yeah, you can't call an entire New Vegas in 14 minute video. I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, look at that, how he walks and how he makes jokes. That's inside the game, right? I know there are mods, basically, who basically modifies the game and you can create these kind of new idols and things, right? Changes your skeleton and everything. I did that shit a lot with Skyrim. I know in this engine that happens. But I'm just thinking, why didn't Bethesda and Obsidian, in this case, didn't just apply that from the start, this kind of walking and everything and just, you know, doing all this animation when you're trying to, you know, pick up, you know, a mine. If you see it from the third-person camera, why isn't he holding that? If you can't do it with the mods, obviously. I mean, yeah, it's a bit strenuous on the system, but how strenuous is this anyway? And this game is from 2010. I'm pretty sure people have PCs that can handle it, and I'm pretty sure PS3 can handle that shit. Come on. We don't have the time, by which I mean... You don't. On the road to New Vegas, I prefer to trust absolutely no one because the wasteland is never as it seems. See that nice old lady running the motel with the giant dinosaur? Well, she just sold someone's wife into slavery. Oh, wow. yeah. You negotiated the sale of a person and only got a thousand caps? Killing everyone that doesn't explicitly offer value to you is a wonderful policy because as far as I'm concerned, this wasteland belongs to me and the weak should fear the strong. It's a part of life out here best to accept it. Upside here, looting is a dream, because robbing a corpse is a far smoother experience than bartering with a living being, and who knows? You might just get lucky and find a mysterious big iron that has sound effects. Oh yeah, Mr. Stranger's gun. Yeehaw, chuckle fucks. Downside here, everyone that you haven't killed yet hates your guts. Oh man, do people ever think you're an abomination? So interacting with the various tribes of the Mojave is significantly more painful. The NCR has declared you a terrorist. Wherever the NCR has jurisdiction, you will be shot on sight. It's about fucking time, fellas. I'll get to these various tribes in due time. That was NCR when I was just a coded and got shot in the head. It's NCR's fault. All I'm saying is, you have choices. Be good, be evil, kill nobody, kill everybody. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Make Hear that? We have options. My yeah. destiny was to confront Benny. By the way, the Guns Runner Arsenal DLC is <laughs> fucking perfection for this game, right? Because this game has everything. Why not guns? So it adds so much guns, like light machine guns and shit. It's just fucking incredible. Tops Casino on the New Vegas Strip and figure out why the hell that platinum chip was so goddamn important. But just before I did, I was reminded of why my seemingly dumbass build is so damn brilliant thanks to maxing out Sneak. You see, none of these casinos on the Strip want a bumbling wastelander walking into the joint with all kinds of dangerous weapons, so they make you check them at the door oh, yeah. to avoid any violence. But if your Sneak stat is high, you can fit an arsenal in the door, no problem. I can get weapons past the guards, no problem. You might. One fella I knew was able to slip a pistol past the guards. You? I'm guessing you could get a machine gun by them. Hey, hey, Rich, well, welcome to the top hotel and casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. <laughs> Sure, here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Okay, so they didn't find two 357s, a 44 Magnum, <laughs> two 10 millimeter yeah, pistols, seriously. three 9 millimeter pistols, a combat knife, eight six of dynamite, a frag grenade, three more six of dynamite, a mysterious Magnum, a silence 22, spike knuckles, a switchblade, and a tire iron. Sneak is broken. I'm gonna repair. Yeah, to be honest, you are wearing a fucking power armor, which is massive. I mean, yeah, the first time I played this game, I was playing uh, so deep in this role-playing game. I was playing as a courier who's pissed off because he got shot in the fucking head. So as soon as I could go to the Benny, you know, not as soon as I could, I didn't just run there. I, I, I made the whole journey with Nipton and everything, doing all the side quests and shit. And when I reached the Vegas, as soon as I got in the casino, I didn't have Sneak 50 Sneak, right? And he said, hand over the guns. Fuck that, I'm there to kill him. So, you know, I had to kill a lot of people in the fucking casino, starting with that, you know, guy who asked me to basically hand it over. Because I was playing that angry role-playing thing. I'm killing Benny enemies necessary.
spare all this, by the way. Don't have an aneurysm. This allows you to kill Benny any way you like. I was surprised he didn't perish from a heart attack the moment he laid eyes on me still breathing. What in the goddamn? Blow his guards up with a frag grenade and finish him off with dynamite. Hell, you could even let him flee for the time being oh, yeah. and kill him later over and over again when his hands are tied thanks to the joy of quick saving. Now you're talking. That is the ring-a-ding move, baby. Yeah, you better believe that Benny starts sweating when you hit the <laughs> F5 key. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, the game was raped from the start. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him a few more times, just so he doesn't come back like I did. Did I really just march halfway across the Mojave to kill Benny with a tire iron? You're damn right. A fair kill. With a tire <laughs> He did with him tire iron, explodes his limb. Like legs, hands, everything explodes of it. That's just awesome. Tire iron? Oh, can you actually crucify him? You sick, vindictive fuck. Happy now, you twisted bum? I still feel like Tire Iron is the best. It is always the best. And if you think killing Benny is the climax of your New Vegas crusade, ooh baby, are you ever ring-a-ding wrong. I'm not talking about Maria, the pistol that he shot you in the face with that you get to use however you like. Truth really is, good. Remy, the game was rigged. <laughs> I'm not talking about his ace checkered suit that I primarily use to get discounts at gun runners. This robot is giving me a 2% discount just because I'm wearing a checkered suit? I'm talking about that mysterious platinum chip that cracks the entire story wide open, and I'm sure you're just itching to know why. What the fuck do you think, asshole? Apparently, the man after this platinum chip you were carrying when Benny blew your head off is Mr. House, the mastermind running the New Vegas Strip, and why am I still talking about him when his ego does such a better job? By the time I was 30 years old, I was a billionaire 30 times over. I founded and ran a vast economic empire. Do you really think I'm going to let an upstart come into my home and ransom my property to me? I spent two centuries searching for the platinum chip. It's my invention, my property, mine. Now be a good courier and deliver it. And he's angry for a reason, because his position of power comes from his Securitrons. You know those big blue robot guys that can either kill you on sight or become your cowboy best friend? Howdy, partner. Welcome to New Vegas. Well, that platinum ship you're carrying contains an update to their operating system that turns them from ordinary foot soldiers capable of small arms fire into missile blasting grenade launching behemoths ready to vaporize any adversary into dust. Behold, for the first time, Securitrons running the Mark II OS. The M235 missile launcher gives the Securitron the ability to engage ground and air targets at significantly longer range. And a rapid fire G20. I find it funny that these are brick walls and even missiles are not damaging them. <laughs> Yeah, Benny basically blew your head off because the giant Securitron army is currently running Windows XP and you were carrying a licensed version of Windows 10. And that's not even the juiciest part. Benny modified his own Securitron, appropriately named Yes Man, to help him steal the Platinum Chip, overthrow Mr. House, commandeer his Securitron army, and shoot him out of the New Vegas Strip. Though I think Benny would put it differently. Baby, getting outplayed and getting cheated ain't the same thing. Yes Man is willing to tell you all of this because he is unable to say no. And I know this word doesn't mean anything anymore but he I mean, Be uh, Benny is such a moron I always thought that there is no way in hell this is his plan he probably found somebody else's plan some I guess engineer or scientist wanted to do that shit killed him and I guess took over his notes and just following those notes no way Benny's smart to do all this shit he is literally a yes man but hey not my fault I can't say no I love this guy because he politely lays out your options for shaping the future of Vegas and forces you to finally decide whose side you're on leading up to the final showdown for all the Mojave marbles at Hoover Dam we shall see how brave you are when nailed to the walls of Hoover Dam your body facing west so you may watch your world die. On one side, you've got the New California Republic, or NCR, representing old world values like democracy, taxes, and the rule of law, but I'ma keep it a buck. Fuck the NCR. Tactical move! He's coming! Oh my god, the NCR is unbearable, pun intended. Because even as the good guys, they make it impossible to like them with how condescending and pedantic they are, especially when it comes to violence. This is NCR property, and we have guns. So you can only do as we please here, and it would please us if you got the hell off our lawn. I honestly... Well, to be fair, NCR does get, you know, your usual raiders and shit and all the craziest of the wasteland, so you really want them to be more welcoming? Come on. 
Honestly, can't wait to sell you into slavery. I'm not even kidding. They are such <laughs> chicken shit cowards. Like, they are so terrified of the Legion crushing them at Hoover Dam, half of them are contemplating suicide. The Legion breaks through our defenses. I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. If the Legion breaks through our defenses, I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. If the Legion breaks through our defenses, I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. Okay, I get it. You want to kill yourself. Shut the fuck up. They're dumber than I am. And as a reminder, I have sub brick. How is this supposed to be fun? but that added more realisticness to me when I first heard it because it's supposed to emphasize how terrifying and how fucked up basically Legion is what they do to the basically people they capture and ship what to their victims intelligence like who should we put in charge of a vital solar power plant how about some bum off the street named fantastic with no experience whatsoever that scientist we hired has got to be the dumbest asshole I've ever come across they asked me how well I understood theoretical physics I said I had a theoretical degree in physics. Theoretical degree. They said, welcome aboard. Got the whole NCR suckling my teats. And it feels so good. <laughs> the Legion, on the other hand, <laughs> absolutely based. And yeah, you know what? That kind of pissed me off too about that guy. Like, okay, really? You need that, right? You need the solar panel array thing, right? You need all that shit. And you're going to put somebody in charge. You don't even basically test him out like is he really that or is he just a moron he just lies his way into that that feels like way too much of an oversight for such an important thing i mean they fought brother who steal for that site and they just let that guy work there come on the shootouts you witness between these two rival factions tells you everything you need to know god damn did the legion ever crush the ncr they just get so <laughs> You like that? But wait, don't they propagate slavery and crucify anyone that defies their will? Degenerates like you belong on a cross. 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 Yes, but if there's one thing that I hate more than slavery, it's taxes. The worst kind of slavery. So when I say <laughs> Awe, you say True to Kaiser. As evil as they may be, at least they're not I love all those tax hating people, right? I mean they hate it with their all because I hate taxes. And I understand that at a certain level because sometimes taxes can be a bit too much. But as a concept, you can't hate taxes, man. I mean, what you think countries and governments are gonna run with just hope and I guess you know, good talk like, yeah, okay, just government's gonna run and so on. No, government and country, you wanna feel safe in a society when you walk outside at night? Yeah, you need to pay taxes, otherwise that's not going to fucking work. Where is all service gonna come from? But, you know, hate of taxes come from overtaxing, which is the case every single time. So yeah, democracy, it has plus point, minus point, and sometimes it gets exploded, what can you do? But yeah, I get it. Fucking taxes. And there is a theme of that in through entire New Vegas. Like, even in the game, people hate NCR because of things like that. Right? Like, too much taxes, this and that, too much bureaucracy. Yeah, I, I, I get that, but there is no other alternative. Right? I mean, NCR represent of the old government, which is the one who killed the world. So we are trying to do same shit over and over again, but there is no alternative. Independence Vegas is not an alternative. You are just a moron courier who's trying to run shit, right? Eventually, it is all that will fail. Let's be honest here. Let's think, like, let's think outside of the person, like third person view, right? Let's see the whole landscape, right? It's, it's just, you know, fucking badass to say, I can make things better. I'll run this. But no, we, we don't have the experience, right? We can't run shit. We are not politician. So in the end, NCR is the only necessary evil there pretending like the NCR is, talking mad shit for having no real fighting prowess, and Kaisar's right-hand man Lanius can tell you what happens when words aren't backed by strength. Our roads into NCR are hung with the bodies of those who attempted to negotiate with us. That's the kind of act the non-verba ethos I can get behind. Sure, the Legion might be a little <laughs> intense, but at least they treat me like an equal and have conviction in what they're pursuing. We will take Hoover Dam and move forward until our feet crush the setting sun beneath them. The good of the NCR or the bad of the Legion aren't your only choices either, because Mr. House is always an option, a very corporate tyrannical option to hand the keys to the Mojave, but I guess when your other choices are cowards or slavers, it's not so bad. My army will do what an army does best, defend territory from invaders and maintain order. But if you want to- Mr. House feels like a really good option considering if you really hate NCR and that, what they represent and how they represent the old world, which kind of fucked us in the first place. Legion is just bad around 
basically, you know, entirely worst scenario ever. Slavery, killing people left and right and really fucked up, you know, type of mentality. So Mr. House feels like a pretty good choice. But then again, it has a very, way too many flaws in it, right? And Mr. House eventually basically, you know, will obviously become dictator like when he gets the upgraded, you know, all the centuries and things. And let's not forget, when Mr. House upgrades that much, NCR will see him as a threat eventually. I know they're about to do business, but that's not going to last, right? All the things that he's planning, like it will go smooth, eventually there'll be a war. Mr. House cannot basically succeed and gets the entire NCR. If they bring on all the troops from the California, it's way too big of a thing. NCR is way too big. It's just a part of NCR that is in New Vegas right now. Wild card option? Pick up where Benny left off and side with Yes Man. He'll help you take the keys in the Mojave by stealing the Securitrons for yourself. An army like that should be enough to defend Vegas from, I'm gonna say, anybody. That way, you get to murder the belittling Mr. House and conquer the wasteland with a friendly face. So and good. before you say, You can't just kill Mr. House because a robot told you to. Observe. How did I lose yeah, I definitely that? did that every time. There's already a vegetable. I'm just making a mashed potato. No matter which path you take, you're forced to familiarize yourself with the smaller tribes of the Mojave. His ego answer that he gives to us, right? I mean, I am this, I am that. I'm more than better than you. This is my platinum chip. I'm better than you. Shit like that. I'm like, dude, you are just a corpse that is under this building right now. You're not better than me. They to determine whether you want their help in the Battle of Hoover Dam or exterminated for their lack of cooperation. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. You've got the appropriately named boomers because they're terrified of anything foreign to them, labeling outsiders as savages, and you gotta make it through an artillery barrage. I love that. Look at that. They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. Can I just say? This is by far the most accurate artillery barrage that I've ever seen. Like, this is not the way that artillery works, though. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? I didn't run through all that artillery to hear your stupid question. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat. Yes, was young time. Pete. Burning people with flamethrowers. Neat. Sure, they're intolerant, but they taught me this field trip to meet other tribes wasn't just- This is so fucked up because I get it. People of New Vegas would know that. Like, don't go close to that one. But but if somebody comes from outside, just wandering there, some catam or some shit, they don't know it. Like, look at that. I'll do the trading. They just open fires, for fuck's sake. I know there are signs and shit, right? Like, this, there's going to be bombs and here and there. But anyone can mistake that for the old world thing. Like, this is not a current thing. This was probably before the bombs fell. They would not take that shit seriously. So I could check a box of exterminate or don't exterminate. Because if you help them out, they can have a big impact at Hoover Dam. So <laughs> Let's be honest, he has intelligence of one at this point. So like, uh, this or this? <laughs> Fine, boomers, I'll fix your stupid plane and make your dreams come true. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. Can you dial it back on that word? Anytime he says savages, he just goes, SAVAGES! The great cons are hilarious because everybody makes fun of them for being filthy drug traffickers that live in tents. Yeah. The cons are just... They're a dirty people. They live in tents like animals, and they're very rude. And I think you can deal with them diplomatically yeah, to win can. their favor, but uh, I've never tried that option. 22%, can I hit that? Oh, I can hit that. You know what's even better than killing drug traffickers? Killing drug traffickers on their own product. I'm so high off a of psycho oh, yeah. right now. <laughs> Diplomatic efforts are better spent on the brotherhood Yeah, I mean, you know, I think the best outcome of the cons is that you, you nudge them somewhere else, right? But I don't, I'm not sure if that's the best outcome because they are fucking dangerous. They, they are hard people, right? And if you nurse them somewhere else, you're just dumping them on someone else. Like, this is your shit now. This is your problem. So I don't think the best outcome for cons is really the best outcome of steel because if you run their silly errands they can hook you up with special power armor training to wear this god tier yeah. steel suit wake up to the money so send me right on, right on. Everybody looking for that platinum chip when I got that platinum drip. By the way, if you think that T-51 is cooler than T-45, you are actually psychotic. And I'm not gonna recommend that you pickpocket the heavy hitters and initiate their bunker self-destruct sequence once you've got the training in your hands. But yoink, a yoink, I'll take that. Are you sure you would like to initiate the self-destruct? Yes. 
You can kill me all you want. I've already won. I've already won. It's already too late. I bet you regret putting that explosive collar on me now, assholes. I'm not gonna lie. This one, I also thought the, you know, one time I destroyed brother, but I guess I don't know because I was at the time, I don't know what I was doing. Maybe I misunderstood or whatever it was, but I ended up destroying the brotherhood because I got swayed by the other side. I don't remember. The point is I destroyed the brotherhood and don't do that in most playthroughs, right? Because it's stupid. Why? There's no point of it, right? You just change your, you know, alters and things like that. But the point is, you know, when I destroyed it, everybody was shooting at me like, do you hear that alarm? This shit about to blow up. So you want to kill me and then kill yourself? How about you run? The, you know, the best sequence there would have been as soon as the alarm runs rather than finding who did that shit. Everybody just runs out for the survival because a bomb's about to go off. You don't try to find who did this shit. You do that later on. Good. That's one less loose end. Consider them forgotten. Along with the projections that predict they'll be our biggest enemy. Forgotten. Not all the tribes are out in Bumblefuck either. You've also got to make contact with some of the families running other prominent casinos on the Strip. So even if you already know you want them exterminated, you at least have to look them in the face before you kill them, Benny style. Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig. The Omertas that run a giant whorehouse called... Yeah, the casinos. Basically, Look, man, I'm just going to say the story of this is better than any other fucking Fallout 3 or anything, right? I love Fallout 3, it's, uh, you know, uh, of the newer Fallout, obviously it's the first Fallout I played. I think I remember playing Fallout 2, when I was a kid, didn't understand shit. So my introduction to Fallout is from Fallout 3. It has a very special place in my heart, Will it will never be replaced because, uh, I guess, the feelings st get stuck around, right? It doesn't matter how much you think about it. So Fallout 3 is incredible, obviously, it's perfection, especially the metros. I would lead one place to another, I was astonished, like, holy shit, games can be like this, right? That's what I was wondering, because I was already Oblivion fan, right? Uh, then I played Morrowind later on, because I didn't play it when it came out. So I already was fan of this studio, and they're like, what the fuck? And New Vegas came, at the time I didn't know this is from, not from the same studio, I didn't pay attention to that, so I'm like, oh shit, same studio, look at how great thing, apparently it's Obsidian, the original guys. But yeah, this game's story is so engaging and it branches out into this open world RPG so good. But people who say they don't like New Vegas much, they really don't get this, right? They, they re really didn't see and feel this through. So from the start of the game, it feels like a journey until you reach New, New Vegas and then it's open branches. Nobody basically holds you anywhere, you can do any shit you want. But if you go through the mission, it feels like it's a journey from one place you know, taking a round trip, because if you directly go, there are fucking death claws everywhere at the quarry. So if you take a round, you know, round trip all the way to New York, it feels like a journey, longest journey between you passes towns, there are small missions here and there, you get introduced to, you know, NCR, Khans, and then you reach New Vegas. And then the real game actually starts with your decision things, you kill Benny, you, you plot things and everything else. So this is one of the best things, and also the, how the game starts for the Platinum Chip, the way Benny kills you, and basically all turns around, and Benny is not even, you know, that important of a character, you just have, you, just, you can just kill him or not kill him, it's all up to you, it's so much freedom, I love this for that. ...deserve to be wiped off the face of the earth, not just because they kill hookers, not because they're stockpiling arms, but because they're complete pieces of shit, and it takes like three pickpockets to dismantle their whole operation. What the fuck are you looking at? The fuck are you looking at? What the fuck are you looking at? I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I burn your sorry ass. That's and sentence. I will... Take that off your hands. Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? Just like that, all your guns are gone. And as much as I'd love to tell you that I had an elaborate way of destroying Kachino and his cronies, you already saw how that ended. I guess we are shooting Kachino. <laughs> oh no. The White Glove Society at the Ultra Lux are by far the worst. That is something awesome to use a sniper rifle at in a room at that close range is shooting their heads off with a power armor. First of all, if a guy with a power armor walks inside your casino, you always have your eyes on him. How is he pickpocketing, pickpocketing everybody, basically? How are people like, oh, there's a guy with a power armor behind me, nothing to see here. I'm not gonna pay attention to him liars I have ever come across. When people proactively scream at you, we're not cannibals, we swear. You better believe they eat people. For the last time, 
The White Glove Society oh, yeah. has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. You know, once I end up reviewing this footage, I feel like I can tell you exactly what she meant by saying those yeah. words. The White Glove Society will consume human flesh for any reason. We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. <laughs> oh no, this is another one that's just too perfect to pass up. We engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. It gets even better once you press yeah, I mean, even I was like, you know, I wasn't paying too much attention the first time I played it, and uh, I said, you know, see talking like that with th that kind of authority, I'm like, hmm, something's definitely fishy here. On it, like, why do so many people disappear while staying at your hotel? And they're like, what? We hired a private investigator to solve that mystery. Go ask him about it. And he's dead in his room. I had our Mater D Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. Oh, really? Yo, holy shit, he did! And the White Glove Society sends a bunch of dudes in tuxedos to fight a man in power armor. <laughs> Great <laughs> idea. Their latest victim is the son of this rancher named Heck Gunderson. I don't know, I'm pausing a bit too much, but I like how in Fallout 4, they realized this issue. And they got, got around with it, you know, that, uh, you know, armor weave. Right, apparently there's a weave they can apply to clothes and that are good enough armor on it. Right, the latest institute technology, some shit like that. At least they got around with it because they realized, okay, Fallout 3, even in New Vegas, there are constant instances where people just basically attack soldiers and shit, right, with the normal clothes. Like, how does that even work? And he is definitely worth rescuing in the basement. Not only because of the conversation you get to have with the chef. Who the fuck do you think I am? I'm the fucking god of New Vegas Brahmin fusion cuisine, that's who. No, no, that doesn't even give me the credit I deserve. I fucking invented edible food. Do you like eating? Good. You owe me your entire goddamn garbage existence. Keep talking shit, Philippe. Shit. Not only because you get to feel the adrenaline rush of fighting 15 cannibals at once. No, run away, kid! Run away! Fuck, I got the kid. Not only because you can punch Marjorie's stupid head off and even the Mater D if you feel so inclined. What the fuck? How does she have such a strong head? Oh, shit. Degenerates All like organs. you belong on this <laughs> But because once you do get him back to his dad, he shoots up the whole casino in a fit of rage and cuts off the entire food supply to the New Vegas Strip. Oh, shit. You like that? Ooh. Nailed him. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Hag Gunderson long as they live. They control the food? Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. That sounds like a fantastic idea. <laughs> Hell, there are even tinier tribes that aren't mandatory to meet with, but worth exterminating anyway. So I'm looking at you, fiends. What the fuck are you doing here? You got some kind of fucking death wish, asshole? Final warning, asshole. All right, asshole. You just fucked yourself. <laughs> The only annoying part about the fiends are their traps, which they end up triggering themselves oh, yeah. most of the time. That is so fucking annoying. Did he just trigger his own trap? Oh, you f- There's no point of sneaking at that point. Oh god. Oh god, she definitely tripped it. She definitely- it's even worse that these traps defy the laws of time and space. Like one time I triggered a trap and a second before it exploded, I escaped outside and thought I was safe. Little did I know that the timeline inside this building freezes once you leave it. So no matter how long I spent I outside, know that. that grenade was still one second away from exploding on the inside. On top of that, New Vegas saves anytime you enter a building. So I was now auto saved right inside that building with a grenade about to explode, which eventually formed an infinite infinite loop of dying to a grenade, loading the autosave, and dying to that same grenade. And over, and over, and over again for all of eternity. Going back inside? All good? All good. Oh, oh, oh god! Oh shit. What happens if I load though? Wait, what happens when I load? All oh, the same shit's gonna happen forever now. Because it auto-loads the autosave from the doorway. Fuck, man, it's gonna go on forever. Speaking of explosions, I don't hate the Powder Gangers, but for some reason they hate me. Like, their alliance on dynamite, I really admire. Why can't we be friends? I'm pretty sure all I three of them threw be. dynamite at me. 
<laughs> they did. Okay, so we got a dead caravaner, we got a dead powder ganger, and what's he gonna say? Damn. We can definitely be friends with the powder gangers. We also do really heinous shit with the towns and everything. Running low on smokes again. That's the most powder ganger answer I've ever heard. The only yeah. group I didn't bulldoze on site were the kings, because you can't do that to the king. And if you don't know who the king is, well, you should take a trip to Memphis and find out. Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? Thank you. Thank you very much. No matter how you choose to handle the tribes or who you choose to back in the Battle of Hoover Dam, the presidential assassination quest will all- You know what? <clears throat> Uh, all this king thing, I know, you know, people don't go to, uh, you know, uh, toilets and shit. But they would be so weird to see, right? I mean, uh, you know, you have to kill the king, and he goes to toilet, and you kill him there, that's kind of weird thing. I mean, knowing how the real one died. Always be funny, because if you're back in the NCR, Mr. House, or Yes Man, you've got to prevent it from happening. Hey, uh God, that, that fucking scared me, dude. I have the call. Oh, there you go. This is fucking awesome. Uh, did that ranger just get blasted off that tower? Um, yeah. um, I have a quick save. I just want to see. This is so good, right? I mean, I love this mission because in the first playthrough, the first try, I nailed this, basically. You have to uh, do two things. Kill that sniper and disable a bomb on the water, but I think. I realized that, you know, at the first. So that's why I love this mission the most. See if he's gonna take his head off. Oh fuck, he got Oswald. <laughs> Everybody's just standing up. Yeah. They're just standing there. Look at them. Um, um, um. I guess a new president. This time, you sneaky piece of shit. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mr. President! Mr. President, get down! What the fuck? I think his legs got stuck in the tower and his torso just didn't want to be there anymore. Uh, should I, should I call this in or just let it grow free? I actually don't know if he's any, any much of a threat any longer. I think that was it. Just one guy. No. Nope. There's a bomb. Oh, you son of a bitch! The game was rigged from the start! This dude is so strong, he powers through save games. Like, I just quick saved, it quick loaded, and he's still here. It was around this time that I realized siding with the Legion is so much more fun, and sticking it to the dumbass NCR is just icing on the cake. Like, if I bring a missile launcher to a presidential <laughs> speech and you don't find it suspicious, you deserve to have your president vaporized. Do they care? Don't even care that I'm whipping. I mean, technically, if you take a missile launcher in front of a Caesar, and nobody do shit. Without a missile launcher right in front of the president, goddamn. You dispatch. Wait friend. a minute, do you... I don't remember, do you take out your weapon when you go inside? I don't think you do, right? I mean, once, you have, once you're loyal to him, I guess, you don't do that shit. With real I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, right real the skill <laughs> missile launcher from point blank range. The sole fact that Kaisar is suffering from a brain tumor and is prone to random fits of headache induced rage makes his cause worth backing. You'll be talking about a quest and then out of nowhere. God damn it! I expect that information can be used to manipulate them. Go to. God damn it! Fuck this. I'm going to lie down. If you interfere What's with the fun thing about this? The actor who voiced this is that actor from The Wire, right? The, who was that? Deputy Rawls? I think it's Rawls, right? And in the Gotham he plays uh, some kind of kingpin or something. I don't know. I know the actor. I've seen him many times and <laughs> just imagining him sitting there in the, you know, wise booth and going like, Oh, God damn it. This just feels weird, man. With me getting some sleep again, I'm going to have you killed. <laughs> we will talk later. Ah, way, true to Kaiser. <laughs> it's not a full strength chapter, mind you. The profligates. Yes. <sighs> the profligates. <laughs> <laughs> but because the game ends once the Battle of Hoover Dam is over, it's a solid idea to explore all the wasteland has to offer before you finish the fight. Talk shit to the NCR hit squads that force you to improve your standing with the Republic or suffer the consequences. Oh no. Since you haven't pissed yourself. I'll assume that you don't know who we are. Next time I'll bring my sickle and wear my black cloak. The NCR sends us when they want terrible things done to terrible people. You've got three days to improve your reputation with the NCR or we come for you.
you without all this pleasant conversation. Yeah, sure, you got it. I'll stop working for Kaiza. Man, you're really scary running in the other direction. The DLC is worth checking out, and even though I only played Honest Hearts. Ooh, Heart Honest Hearts is fucking awesome. Right, the whole vibe of it and Joshua Graham. Even the 45 pistol. This is a really good DLC. Hearts to avoid making this video two hours long. Boy, was it ever worth it. God damn it, ambush! Come ambush? Can I even. Can I even prevent this? I don't think you can. Oh shit! I don't think I can stop this. Yeah, I don't think I can stop this. I think it's designed to happen this way. Yeah. Or I'm just hitting 20 somehow. I don't know how I hit on 20. What the f? Because your luck is 10. Okay, so first of all, I, I tried to prevent this, right, many times by reloading over and over again and try to find everybody. Hell, even I uh, cheated with the consoles by clipping and shit. But yeah, they still die because even if you stop everybody from shooting, they will still spontaneously explode like a scripted event or something. Fuck. Yeah, they're all dead. Forget it. Forget it. Fuck. You! I'd highly recommend the Sneering Imperialist trait if you head to Zion, which grants you a 15% damage buff and a bonus hit in VATS against Raiders, Junkies, and Tribals. It's basically weaponized racism, or at the very least a racism buff. And I'm not racist, but I do appreciate doing 15% extra damage and having a bonus hit in VATS. I didn't do that. What is that damage? Auslander Zuka, Joshua Graham. If you're too dumb to speak my language, you're too dumb to talk to me. What? This tr Oh, this is bullshit. I didn't do that when I did the DLC. I hate this. I have to play this game again. This uh, trait actually makes you a certain way. Sneering imper imperialist. Yeah, it makes sense. If you're too dumb to speak my language, you're too dumb to talk to me. Get lost. Oh, I get so... Okay, so this is more like, you know, uh, European colonies when they, tr you know, went more west and killed all the natives. This is apparently that, like, you know, uh, a European colonists going to the tribes and how they see things with racism. That's the touch with this trait, I guess. So that's how he's gonna act uh, throughout this whole DLC. Like a European imperialist is coming, basically. Sneering imperialist. Oh god, this, whole, uh, this changed entirely how you play the DLC. See, this is what I was talking about. One trait, one skill changes everything, for fuck's sake. This is why this game is too good. To me, get lost. Shice. Speaking of Joshua Graham, that's Kaisar's former right hand man that lost the first Battle of Hoover Dam, which ended in him getting yeah. covered in pitch, set on fire, and tossed into the Grand Canyon. I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. <laughs> I fell down into that dark chasm. The flame burned on and on. His crispy ass. <laughs> the way he poetically says that, I always, you know, picture him like, because fire was burning brighter inside me. I fell inside and then, uh, he's doing all this picture, you know, this poetic type of thing. And I imagine suddenly a cut scene cut to while he, you know, while he's falling while burning and he's screaming like a bitch and running towards the water. <laughs> is the best character in all of New Vegas and airing out an entire canyon with his pistol pack and 45 buff is some of the most fun I've ever had. The time yeah. for talk has passed. The Lord's work must be done. Make no mistake about why we are here. This is an extermination. While Joshua Graham is in your party, any 45 caliber auto pistol you use has less spread and is twice as likely to score critical hits. <laughs> We warned you at Syracuse. Kunaman, mad. He kill all white legs. You talk. You stop. Whatever. Josh will put a cap in General Gobbledygook here. <laughs> this is so good. And once I found my way out of Zion, it was time for the final phase of the plan. You already know what the fuck about to happen. Vegas will fall. The fight for Hoover Dam is radically different depending on which side you're on. Like you can crush the NCR with something as simple as a hunting shotgun or a Garand. I can already tell this is easier. So much easier than taking on the lead. Jeez, well, apart from that little bit of friendly fire, this honestly feels like a different difficulty. Like these rangers fucking suck. It did I like drop down to very easy? What is this? I'm sorry, Ranger, but it's it's a wrap for you. <laughs> I'ma keep it a stack, Trooper. It's not safe for you right now. That's right. 
Alright, fuck you and your fake power armor. That shit is whack. It doesn't block anything. Like, what's the point? What's the point? Going up against the Legion is a whole different ball game. That shit is tricky. I mean, not that tricky because if you slam enough Medex, Jet, and Psycho while flat out abusing the anti-material rifle, nothing in this game is that tricky. Rip the homie. Y'all ever get so high on a drug that your bullets start doing more damage? I just love that. Best feature of this game. <laughs> Jesus. But still, fighting alongside the Legion is so much more Yeah, I know that that kind of feels weird when you take drugs, apparently damage is more. Accuracy increases, sure, right? I mean, you're a bit faster, you reload faster, sure. Your strength increases, melee is stronger, but how the fuck gun do, do more damage? That's just weird. And as far as you know, uh, NCR sucking and Legion being more powerful, it's pretty damn simple. It's how the mechanics were made, right? Because Legion is mostly melee. So what they did is they, they, uh, they gave uh, Legions better armor because they'll be running towards you. You could easily take them down if they don't have better armor. Right? Just to, I guess, le level the playing field. So, they have more armor even though they shouldn't because NCR has technically better armor than them. Look at the, what they're wearing, right? This is like what, you know, uh, I guess, uh, uh, some like, uh, you know, 100 year BC or something or during, you know, the Romans time or something. Look at that. So, there's no way that, you know, legions have better armor in reality than NCR. But in game mechanics, they have because they have to. Otherwise, you, you just shoot them down before they even come close. So they have better armor and they are melee. So <clears throat> melee always hits, right? Even when they don't hit, you'll get hit, right? Whenever you, if, you know, sometimes when you're in VATS, you realize that they didn't even struck you, right? They, they struck you from the side and yet you still, you know, got hit basically. So melee always hits while guns, on the other hand, rarely hits you. So NCR sucks that way. Because their armor is not as good as Legion, they have weapons where, which barely hits you, lots of times they misses the shot, while Legion always hits you with the melee, so Legion will always be more dangerous, I guess. ...fun and so much more vindicating once you get to wipe that condescending smirk off General Oliver's face. I would sooner spit on the grave of my dead mother than let some courier walk the wasteland fuck talk to me like that. Courier yeah, walk the wasteland you fuck? Would you like to rephrase? I think you're cast out enough to know my chances are pretty good. Chances are pretty good? Just vaporized four rangers. Oh, this should be good. Shut the fuck up. The highlight for me, beyond boomers dropping high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. Yeah, this is so good. You know what I say correctly? That little kid Pete talking about raining high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages? I kind of get it now. Was the appearance of the mysterious stranger and misfortune. Basically, there's these two traits where there's a random chance that a man or woman will show up in vats and blast away the enemy you're engaging and nothing against the mysterious stranger, but misfortune cannot be tied. And crippling someone will always be fun. It will never- Oh, well, I guess misfortune's just gonna steal the show. Frag rounds. I'm missing- I'm missing all of those. Oh, misfortune! <laughs> it goes so far when she hits them. Don't you run away from me. Where is he even going? The closet? <laughs> what? Um, okay. It seems like a weird place to- Oh, mysterious stranger, yeehaw, chuckle fuck. In the closet of all places. See, this Mr. Stranger and Misfortune thing is just some kind of a fun thing to have, but for me, it always broke the realism, whatever is left in the game, I guess. Because why would somebody just spontaneously show up and help me, right? I know in Fallout 4 they expanded this by creating there's an actual person who do this shit and created this whole thing with Nick Valentine and created all the quest for it. But from the Fallout 3, Fallout 2, I guess I, I never took this, uh, you know, trait. Because it just feels weird to me. In the fucking closet. I still feel like the 40 mil kind of sucks, but I guess it's worth trying out every now and again. Oh, misfortune! That's tight! <laughs> That's tight. What? Where did that dude's fucking body go? There she is again. And holy shit. She is so much better than Mysterious Stranger, it's not even funny. She's like a walking artillery piece. Come on out, Oliver. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Sneak attack criticals are by far the best thing in this game. Like, they just do so much fucking damage. God, dude, look at this clown. Fuck the- See, that's what I was talking about. Look at that. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate.
Sneak attack criticals are by far the best thing in this game. Like, they just do so much fucking. See, uh, the, you know, these people with the melee is taking more damages, right? Otherwise, they would have been dead because they have melee. So, people who have melee, right, they automatically have more armor to balance things out because they have to charge you. Damage. God, dude, look at this clown. Fuck the He's NCR. The I don't know if the big boomer penetrates. Oh, never mind. His force is just gonna do the work for me. So it doesn't penetrate, but it still doesn't hurt a lot of damage. Is that a misfortune hit on two consecutive vats? Is this shit broken? Is three in a row possible? You're ten lucky. Well, never mind. Never mind. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. <laughs> I had to. It's the last dude. It's the last dude. And that's the story of how we crushed the NCR and took Hoover Dam. God willing, Kaiser does the same shit to California because Lord knows it needs to happen. <laughs> Is me. Perhaps in time I will be granted the honor of conquering the land known as California. For now, come. We must see to the burning of the dead. Don't forget to take a sip from your trust. See, the thing is, I would never align with Caesar. Not because of what he represents and all shit. Of course, that is that. But because of Legged Lanius. How much of a big ass rod is all the way up his ass, right? The way he talks. It always pisses me off. Like, you asshole. As soon as I see him, I want to kill him. Look at that. I will be granted the honor of conquering the land known as California. For now, come. We must see to the burning of yeah, the dead. Fuck don't off. forget to take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen on the way out. You don't yeah. want to get dehydrated in the Mojave. You just sold a bunch of human flesh to gun runners. You take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. You take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. Just slaughtered an elderly couple to take a nap in their bed. Sips from canteen. God, dude, you take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. Blows up Brotherhood of Steel Bunker. Take sip from trusty Vault 13 canteen. You take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. I have been chugging out of this sink for the past 40 seconds to not waste a stim pack. And what am I doing while I'm chugging out of a sink? I'm I'm taking a sip from my trusty Fall 13 kit. And that's about it. That's all I got to say. A final fuck the NCR for being pedantic pieces of shit. The Walt Thudding Canteen, I think that's from the DLC. Uh, uh, caravan something type of DLC, right? Uh, because in this game, there is actually a mechanic. If you're playing at hard difficulty, hardcore something, you have to drink, eat, and everything survival thing. Otherwise, basically, you have problems, right? But I think drinking became so big of a problem because we had to do that quite often. So they created this war thirteen canteen thing with the DLC. That basically doesn't save you from deaddressing completely, but it, I guess, extends it constantly. It automatically drinks from that. And then they made it, I guess, permanent, right? With the Game of the Year edition or whatever. Rolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. And may Kaiser rule the Mojave for all of eternity. True to Kaiser. Yes, man, is also a solid option. But I'll stop now. It's time for this video to end. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. Follow New Vegas. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Cyberpunk 2077 because I originally was gonna make a video on that, but then I was like, oh, this is a broken fucking piece of trash. I should probably check out who did this the right way, and Fallout New Vegas is something incredible. I'm not gonna hit you with any of the game critic lines, but the story is cash. The characters are cash to the point that I almost cried at some of the voice lines. Like Joshua Graham's story is so damn inspiring for a fucking fictional character. Oh my god, please play this game, you dumb son of a bitch. I'm I'm gonna end it there. I really am gonna cross my fingers and hope this video was not demonetized and age restricted like the last Fallout video because I did so much fucking psycho and psycho jet that it actually thought I was, I don't know, recommending the use of hard drugs. And what? before I go, if you think the Really? The age restrict based on that? Because of fucking jet that doesn't even exist? You pump something up like a fucking, you know, gas powered thing? That doesn't even exist in real world, man. Man, YouTube, seriously, I thought it would be like because how he k kills lots of people and there's gore, I guess, at a certain level. Even though a video game without gore, what you talking about? Claws are scarier than Cazadors. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. Oh, that Cadillac, the 
bright red Cadillac With the tail lights on the back Man, I'm telling you, Jack Give me that Cadillac I want that Cadillac Yeah <laughs> God, this video was so good Man, the Russian Badger, he's alright I mean, he, j he just hit everything right it Feels like he's a, I guess, fan of this game because you have to really play this game to, I guess, you know, feel all this thing. Somebody just playing this game to make a video probably wouldn't have gotten all this right, I guess. So yeah, <laughs> as far as the storyline, yeah, fuck the NCR. You know, obviously that's your first instinct, but, you know, if you, like I said in the previous video, previous part that I created yesterday, if you look from the outside perspective with a, a greater goal thing, NCR is inevitable, right? That is the closest thing to government you have. And even though that is the kind of thing that created a nuclear apocalypse in the first place, you have no alternative. What you gonna do? Independence New Vegas, where you're in charge, you're in charge until somebody manipulates yes men. So first of all, you don't know shit, right? You'll basically rule good way, I guess, that you think before the problems arises. Then you'll create some kind of a makeshift, I guess, uh, solution which takes away people's right and you'll become some sort of dictator you'll convince yourself thinking this is just temporary until I do certain things and get on back on track which will never happen and you'll find yourself becoming dictator eventually so that's how dictators come to rise one guy who don't know what the fuck he's doing doesn't matter how good he is eventually will become a dictator that's the problem so you know independence Vegas never works it has very too many, you know, minus points. Somebody could definitely manipulate yes men. Mr. House also will become a dictator eventually, regardless of what, right? Uh, you know, the, uh, the Legion, that's like, you know, uh, that's uh, that mentality. At least they're honest. So what? At least they're honest. Somebody trying to kill you and tell you that he's going to kill you. And somebody who's going to kill you and don't tell you that he's going to kill you. Somebody who's honest doesn't make much of a difference because he's still trying to fucking kill you. I don't get that argument, right? At least he's honest. That means shit. The guy who's not being honest and actually hiding shit, actually he realized that he's wrong. That's why he's hiding it in the first place. There's a chance he'll realize that he's wrong at least. Well, the guy who's not even hiding it, he doesn't even see what he's doing as wrong. So Legion is just playing out bad, right? Everything is really enslaving people, putting people on cross, like this is some kind of a, you know, I guess a Roman time or something. That's just fucked up. NCR is the only thing left with all the bureaucratic crap, corruption and more taxes. That's the only thing you have. And, you know, with California and everything, they are really big. In New Vegas, they are only a small branch of it. Overall, NCR is way too big. So, yeah. All right, people. If you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the reaction. This is the link in the description. Check out the end cards. And yeah, I'll see you next time.